He's, he's a, I told you he's ridiculous. You know, it, it's it's almost like uh, Bones at one. He should be at 170. Can we get him to 170? Yeah. Or are they too afraid at 170? I get him at 170. Mission, but unfortunately our fights so far have gone too long so we're skipping out on the intermission we have two gamers here we got uh, Keith Bullock versus Dave Pardon yeah and bo both of them are very very gay almost definitely These guys are no strangers, that's for sure. You know, we're talking, you know, nine and four, Dave Pardon against uh, 13 and five, Keith Bullock. And we've seen them both in amazing wars. This fight has an awful lot of uh, just excitement tied to it. Oh, yeah, most definitely, you know, and um, 
thing about this is if you look at the teams, they kind of look similar, don't they? And if you yeah, notice, there's, there's, kind of there's, do. Yeah, there's nobody in either, either corner. They both represent Team Courageous. How do they end up? Is this a qualifier? Why is this? It's looking like Tom Grisham strikes again. Yes, it does. It looks like Tom Grisham strikes again. He does. <laughs> Big shout out to my boy, Tommy Grisham. The Midwest murderer. I've had many, 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 many battles with this guy. The, the Midwest murder just struck. And now we're in second note, like I said, give a big shout out to my boy, Tom, Midwest Murderer Grisham. Yeah, uh, broken arm. Oh, man, I'm telling you, he's a, he's a warrior, dude. I, I've fought him twice in the cage, <laughs> and I just could not finish this kid. Just, That's kind of awesome, isn't it? Yeah, I love the kid. It's kind of weird, you know, we're one and one as amateurs. But after that last fight, we looked at each other and go, we're not doing it again. Yeah, no, someone needs to pay you a lot if you're going to do that again. We, did, we had two five-round fights together. We're like, we're not doing it again. <laughs> like, that was it. And we've been friends ever since then. You know, so. All right, we're right here. We're ready to go. Keith Bullock in the red corner in the white trunks. Gabe, Dave, the gunslinger, pardon, in the blue corner. How do you got this one? I, You know, it, it, this is a close fight could go either way but Keith just seems to be he's just winning right now isn't he he, he is he's a gamer but dude pardon is yes, fought the is. who's who though yeah I know both these guys had, when was the last time they had an easy fight I don't think they ever have I mean pardon yeah. has four losses I can name two of them right off the bat Jordan McGoy and Roy Ramos <laughs> and those are some <laughs> badass dudes and he, wow he, immediate takedown too. he took he took McGoy the distance I mean McGoy doesn't go distance very often does and he ever really? Yeah. I don't I mean, think he ever. Awesome. That was like once, maybe. And uh, he lost to uh, Ramos by submission, which Ramos yeah. submits a lot of people. Yeah, he does. But he was, he was probably getting the better of Ramos before the submission caught. I know he, uh, Ramos caught with overhand right, and Dave you know, shot in as de desperation, yep. and Roy just took his neck. Wow. Oh, this is trouble right here. But, the, you know, I've seen so many times, Keith. He used that as a, as a way to pass, smart way to pass. Yeah, Keith is a, Keith is a gamer, dude, you know. I spent, uh, me and Keith actually spent a weekend together, um, actually a bunch of us. We all went down to uh, Chicago for the XSC tryouts. Yeah. You know, and uh, Keith, sh Keith showed himself down there, you know, and it looked good. Actually, now I'm thinking about it, I think I, I met one of your fighters. Yep. Um, a boxer, I don't remember his name, long hair, Luigi. Luigi. Okay. Yeah. Is, maybe, am I right? Yeah, I was. Yeah. He, he said he was at four aces. Yeah, he is. You know, he's the one, another one of them guys. And here we go, right back to the tape. Somebody who needs to train more. He's a pro boxer, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. He uh, he came up to me and goes, "You guys are from Michigan?" He goes, "I train at four aces." I go, "Well, Harley yep. Wallen's there." He's like, yep. "Absolutely." I go, "I know Harley really well, actually." Yeah. So we kind of hung out that day, you know, and everything. Yeah. Cool, cool really, guy. Really yeah. nice guy. Really nice. Yeah. That person. that 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 wore him out. I'll tell you that. That wore him out. Uh, that, yeah, somebody with a lot of potential. I wish he would be in the gym more often. Oh, absolutely. That uh, XCC tryouts, I uh, I had my pro boxing debut. Went through a four-round war with a national champion. Yep. And um, I went there the next day and tried out. Wasn't my best performance. I wasn't 100%. Yeah. You know, and, uh, well, no kidding. It, Just it, did the it dump happens. alone. You prop, that's, a, that's a rough turnaround. Yeah, you got the weight cut and everything got onto it. Yeah. It was just not making excuses, but I didn't make it. But No, there's no excuses to be made. You know, I, I always tell my fighters the week after your fight, I don't want to see you in the gym. I, I always take a week or two off, depending yeah. how I feel. Yeah, I tell them at least a week, chill out, hang out with your family, eat sh crap food, and then, uh, you know, I'll see you again in, in at least a week. Oh, absolutely. You know, it, it takes such a toll. Nice reverse. Keep bullet top now and landing. I'm, t I'm telling you, dude, these two are grinders. Yeah, they are. This could go. How many rounds is this fight? Is three. This three? This these, could go these, all these two could fight for sure. yeah. forever, though. Yeah, they could. I just want to throw this out there. If, that's a great opportunity for, uh, for uh, just rolling through and, and getting an anaconda. You just didn't see it. 
No, I see. That's why I throw this out there. I'm, com I'm coming off a torn MCL, and Dave Parton is the one who tore my MCL. <laughs> but th there's no love lost on that. I, I had him in a go go plata, and my knee, I heard a snap. And uh, Dave said he uh, he said it sounded like breaking a whole thing of celery. Is what my knee sounded like. Dave felt so bad for that, but I, I told him it wasn't your fault. Yeah, it's not his fault. No. But he's still the one who did it, though. Do you, do you have the rule in your gym that if somebody go go plata, you, you have to change your name? To King in your phones. Oh, in that case, there's a lot of people that need to start calling me King Drew then, because that's how it should be, man. You have one week of everybody just saluting you oh, if yeah. they've ever been at Google Plata. I've by caught you. a lot of people Google Plata. I, I don't hit them no more. I'm kind of scared to now. Cause I never want my knee snapping like that again. <laughs> go, Keith. Go, Keith. All right, here we go. Vents get these fighters ready, and uh, they're both breathing comfortably. Conditioning is probably not going to be a factor today. It shouldn't be, not with these two. No, not at all. You know, I, I, I have a question for you, though, Harley. Yeah. You fighting one of your teammates. Now, would that, would that take away your killer instinct and the, the want to finish him? I think for free, in a fight like this, it would. you would have to put some on the line for it. Yeah. For me, you know, put a UFC title on it, put a Bellator title on it. You know, give me something to fight for. If, you, if I want to fight my friend, definitely give me something to fight for. Well, absolutely. You know, you, like know. To, uh, you really want to hurt your friend for nothing, for just the, for just another win. Absolutely. You know, and uh, I was actually working with Keith uh, up until this fight with his boxing. Because Keith's a grinder on the ground. Yeah. I've working with his boxing. And uh, I, I did, uh, I, I kind of shaded, I worked trade with both of them, but I shaded away from both of them for this yeah. fight. Because, uh, yeah, I just can't do that. Awkward. Yeah, it's yeah. awkward. You know, and, uh, Keith's hands are looking phenomenal, man. Yeah, they're yeah. looking really, really well. He must, he must have a great boxing coach. Yeah, no kidding. Be first, Keith. Yeah, these guys are well made, match made. And, and you know, I'll tell you this. You know, they might not want this fight, but this is a good fight for them. Do you, do you see what I'm saying? Oh, absolutely. They, they know each other so well, so they're going to find something else about themselves that they don't know they had. Yep. They, today, they will dig deeper. And, uh, you know, both of them have been in some really wild war, so... It's hard to say what that would be, but at the same time, this is this is definitely the kind of fight where you will find yourself. I think Keith has been in a few of those, though. Oh, absolutely. You know, and, uh, Keith's a warrior. He truly is. Yeah. So is Dave. And um, yeah. like I said, they trained together for years. These two know each other very yeah. well. You can see that, though. And like I brought up earlier, you know, I asked you know if take away your killer instinct. It doesn't seem like this bothering these two being teammates. Well, they're kind of going at each other, aren't they? It's more of a heavy spar. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how we spar courageous. We spar. Yeah. We fight, you know? I, I, I'm, I'll I'm. i be honest with you. I, I like Maury Smith's approach to things that you don't go that hard that often because that's where you get injured. That's where you get, you know, that's the kind of stuff that sets you back. I like technical sparring. I'm, I'm a big fan of when you spar, have an agenda. For me... If, if you've ever rolled, and you've rolled with me many times as part of me, I always have something that I'm like, today I'm working on body kicks. Yeah. That's my that's my agenda. Or today I'm working on triangles. So I will let people take me down just so I will be put in positions to work what I have going on today. Oh, absolutely. Even when I grapple, you know, I'll, yeah. I'll put myself I'll put myself in triangle chokes or yeah. arm bars and work out of them. If yeah. you submit me, good job. I put myself in arm bars and triangles against the brown belts. You know? There you go. Yep. I think this is where Keith wants to be. Yep. This is probably the best I've seen Keith Bullock in a long time. Yeah, he looks really, really good with his hands and how he's protecting himself. A little too windy on his punches. That's the only thing he's got to shore up is to just, to just you know, I'll take away the wind. Absolutely. And up until this point right now, I'd hate to be a judge. Yeah, this is not a fun fight to judge. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not even going to have an opinion because of the simple fact that to, to judge this fight, you almost have to sit down and count every land and, and do all that stuff. Uh, you know, I test test Keith Bullock, but 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 I, you know, this is too close. Right now, I'm, I'm going to give the nod to Keith, yep. personally. Yep. And, you know, of course, this is unbiased because it's my teammates. Yep. But right now, I do feel like Keith is landing the better yes. of the strikes. Um, but He's also reversed some positions. Yeah, and like I said, but I've seen crazier shit in my yeah. Oh, yeah. No, they, again, for you who are watching, 
when you judge a fight, what you should be doing is you should land, you should count the lands, you should count the takedowns, you should count the, the real submission attempts, the reversals, and all those things will, will tally up your impression of the fight. And, and, and we're obviously not doing that as we commentate. But I test test right now, Edge goes to Keith Bowler. I, I agree with you on that one. Which means... A close, close, yes, close. Edge. Oh, these guys, yeah, they're not afraid to knock their friend out, that's for sure. <laughs> Both of them are kind of putting some, some, some on those punches. Oh! Little cut there on the eye of the day part on. Keith's on his back again. Let's see we what got blood with it today. Yeah, yep. Right now Dave's bleeding. He's got a cut. Is it Dave or is it Dave or is it uh yeah, yeah it's Dave. It's Dave. on the left eyebrow. Oh wow, I think I think it might be Keith. I think both of them are bleeding. Are they both they, they headbutt each other? I didn't, I didn't see it. Could have been, it could have been. But, but yeah, I, I for sure saw that Dave was bleeding, and now that I see the other angle, um I think they both are, unless he's been bleeding into the face. Uh, of Keith, I think I think I see a gash under the right eyebrow of Keith Bullock right now. It's kind of hard. It's kind of hard to see from over I mean, this yeah, distance. Yeah, we're but. they're straight across the cage from us. Not the easiest angle to see from, but uh, but you can see from here, both their faces are bloody. Yeah, I, I definitely think it's Keith Bullock bleeding. I really do. Well, I'm, really. I'm absolutely sure Dave is also bleeding. Left eyebrow on for sure on Dave is bleeding. So I think they probably had an accidental headbutt. I mean, right eyebrow of Keith, left of Dave. I think they might have had a headbutt yeah, on that one. Yep. They kind of line up together. Yeah, they do. Keith, yep, that's exactly what happened. Keith needs to realize right now that he does not have that. He needs to bail and get his guard back. Yeah. And I'll tell you, have you ever had bleeding into your eyes? That sucks for you. No, I've never had that. <laughs> Sucks for you. I fought a boxer a long time ago in Groningen, and, and that was one thing I ended up with cutting my eyebrow, and it bled right into my left eye, and that sucked. I don't know if this is enough for Dave, though. Do you think? Do you really think he should be, or should he be trying to close the close the, this fight? Well, you know, it's I, close enough that I'm not sure. Yeah, you know, I don't think that Dave should have the urgency to finish the fight because it is too close for comfort. I mean, but I mean, if I was there, there, I'll, I'll be trying to finish it to make sure, you know. Yeah. But I do think Keith has the uh, advantage right now. Yeah, I agree. But I mean, maybe a dominated, dominated round from Dave could steal the fight. I don't know. Yeah, but I, from what I know, the the judges at the WXC score each round independently. And wow, reversal! Keith Bullock is now on Keith top. Keith come down banging. And short time, he's not gonna steal the round, but. The question is who wins this fight? Hell of a fight. Hell wow. of a fight. Teammates too, by the way. I'll tell you this. Uh, you know what? You, get, you gotta give you guys high fights when, in the gym when they come in. That's the one hell of a fight. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. You know, um, hard had to step out for a second, but hats off to both my uh, teammates. Keith, the Old Bullock and Dave the Gunslinger part down. They both did a wonderful job. Got a lot of blood. Great fight. Our official decision and coming ladies up. ladies and gentlemen, one more time after three hard-fought rounds for both of these gentlemen inside of the squared circle. Our judges have came to a unanimous decision all the way across the board for a score of 30 to 27 for your win.
Well, Dave Pardone's the winner. Um, I don't know if I, I may agree, could agree with the uh, decision, but I don't agree with the unanimous decision, 30-27. That is plain absurd. 